Yo, what's up guys, it's Celia today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, if, for any of you guys out there who have Kruma, uh, Kruma SDK keyboards. Uh, this is a really cool program for games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, where your keyboard will actually light up to specific movements and things in the game are, are occurring, such as um, bombs being detonated, uh, ammo supply, health, uh, kills, um, if you have bomb, buy menu, the list goes on. Um, but anyway, if you don't, if you don't uh, know what this program is about, then um, I've just explained it. But the thing is, it's a really good program to have uh, if you have a Chroma keyboard. And if you have a Chroma keyboard, then I would highly suggest um, buying one of these because there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. Um, quite lately I found out that you can actually play music and your keyboard will show levels of bass, distortion and things like that on your keyboard and location of where the song's been sung, like so say in some certain songs it's been sung through the left um, head to, uh, headphone then it'll be on the left side of the keyboard more than the right and it's it literally just copies what's going on in your actual headphones which is really cool. Anyway, I'll be showing you guys how to do this. So. First off, go to the link in the description, uh, should bring you to this page, and scroll down to here and download the here, just click the here, and it'll give you an exe, run the exe, um, go through all of the parts that it asks you to go through, and then just press finish when you're done. Um, and when you're done, you should get up, um, well, it's kind of an odd program, because what you've got to do is you've got to go to this PC, local disk. Program Files 86, uh, Game Dog, and you have to click the Game Dog EXE from here, or you can find another way on the shortcut to your desktop. But this is the way I get onto it anyway. So once you've opened Game Dog, it'll bring you to this, and you're probably thinking, what the hell is this all about? Well, it's quite confusing, and um, there's a lot of things you can change. You can change all the colours on your keyboard depending on um, what you want to change. Like what, what colour you want specific aspects to be, uh, for, for example health, which can um, change colour depending on how much health you have, and whatever else. Um, but I'm going to leave one in the description of a YouTuber who gave me his one, and um, it was really useful. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I've just used his default one anyway, so I just used that one, which I'll leave in the description. and. Um, yeah, and then open up Ra uh, Razor Synapse once you've done, or well, once you've got that up and running, and head over to Chrome Apps, and it'll ask you to turn them on at the top here. Just turn them on. Go to Apps List and make sure Game Dog's enabled in your Chrome Apps. Once that's done, um, head down to the description I gave. Uh, uh, well, there'll be another link for settings to add to this Game Dog EXE thing. So go down to that link. And copy the whole um, the whole coding, and then what you've got to do is head down to local disk again, preferably on another file explorer. Go down to users feel or your your whatever user you're using for your PC currently. App data, and if you if app data doesn't show for you, then just type in percent app data percent down in the bottom left. Raymond. Um, can you find it? Uh, game dog, and then oh, another thing you need to do on um, game dog, you need to uh, you need to just go down the settings like the background, flashbang, smokes, and all that. Just save them all, just save all of them, and it'll create this file here in this in this place I just told you to go. Well, CSGO2 assigns that XML, and if you open up that, it should bring you to an Internet Explorer page, but we don't want to use the Internet Explorer page, so right click, open with Notepad, so now you're going to edit it. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to delete all this, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, and then the um, file in the description has got more coding, copy that, all the coding, um, and then paste it in here, and then click file, save as, and then you're going to want to click save as type all files, and if yours doesn't have .xml at the end, just type .xml, 
and then once you're done save and it'll it should ask you to overwrite this one should overwrite it um, and then after that you're pretty much done but to ensure that it's definitely working go back to game dog um, and save all of the settings again just to make sure it's definitely saved the new settings and then once you've done that, uh, you can go to Steam, um, and then you can open up CSGO, and hopefully the keyboard setting should all be like that. Um, it will only do it when you're in a game. It won't actually work when you're, when you know you're at the main menu or anything like that. Uh, it'll change colour to completely white, but it won't actually. Um, it won't actually do the colour corrections which you've added until you're in game. And uh, yeah, you can mess about with it yourself. I'm not going to show you because um, because I've got to have to window everything. It'll be a pain in the ass. But um, I'll leave a video at the end of the video to show you what it's like, or I might leave it at the start of the video to show you what it's like and what it can do. And then. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and use it. It's a really good program, and if anyone's watching this who doesn't have a Chroma keyboard, I'd highly advise using it because this is an absolutely amazing thing you can do with the Chroma keyboard. It can tell you if you killed enemies by headshots, body shots, tells you how much health you've got left, how much ammo you've got left. Um, it tells you a lot of things on, just on your keyboard. It's really helpful and it's really cool to, to like use for yourself and for competitive. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and thumbs up down below and comment any other things that you need and if you've got anything stuck with it. But thanks a lot guys um, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Alright guys, this is the Chroma Keyboard and this is it in action. So, as you can tell, the 1-2, they're highlighted for the main two weapons, pistol and assault rifle. Um, here we've got the WSAD, they're lit up. For obvious reasons. Um, then we've got here, this is the health bar at the top, and then up, hit insert all the way down to the arrow is how much ammo you've got. So I'll quickly show you guys the ammo. So I'm shooting I'm shooting a Glock now, as you can tell, and the ammo is going down on the keyboard. And then if I got someone to shot me, uh, these bars will go from green to yellow to orange to red, which is pretty cool because tells you how much health you've got. And there's other things like B, this lights up purple um, before the round starts, before you're able to buy, and it goes off and then you're able to buy. We've got 5, that's, um, that's the bomb, it tells you if you've got bomb or not. Uh, and then there's these ones on the side, the macros, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. They light green if you get a body shot kill. And they also light um, yellow if you get a headshot. And obviously you can change that by preference if you don't want that. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's a few other things you can do with this, but I've only just discovered the basics of the program. So you see, for example here I could buy, and because the round started it's gone off. So now I'm able to press this to buy. And yeah, and then it, obviously I've got five there for the bomb, because I've got the bomb out. So if I drop bomb, press by pressing G, that goes off, and the bombs drop. So there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with this and change lighting, you can do other things I'm pretty sure. They're going to add a lot more things in the future hopefully. Um, it's a really good program and I would advise buying a Chroma keyboard if you don't have it already. And the uh, Razer Chroma mouse, but this isn't the latest uh, Razer Chroma mouse, this is one of the older ones. Because they've updated it lately with a lot of cool ones. But either way it's a pretty good pro uh, program, it's a pretty good product altogether so I would advise buying it. Um, and yeah that's about it guys, thanks for watching the video. Sorry if this is a bit crap quality, but it's the easiest way for me to record this feat to show you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace out.